I'm now going to talk to you on the topic of um, link amplifiers that will be used to distribute the output from a satellite receiver to a number of additional locations and has the added advantage of also allowing those um, boxes to be operated remotely using an, a, what's commonly called the sky eye which is in, actually an infrared sensor okay so I have in front of me here a range of um, uh, uh, distribution amplifiers that we sell, or link amplifiers that we sell. Uh, so uh, just the, the most common ones that we sell here would be the the global uh, F120 and F140. Um, so you can see here there's a single input on these particular units and then two outputs. So the idea would be we would take an input from a satellite receiver and then run the outputs to two separate rooms. Now uh, lab here have an identical uh, unit um, so there's a single input and two outputs. They also have a four-way version of this. Um, and um, what we also have here, and we, we, we mark it on the website, is we have power passing splitters that allow power to pass in both directions. And if um, at a much lower cost, uh, will actually do the same job. Now the limitations on this particular unit is, the big advantage of it is it's cheap and it works. Uh, the limitations of it is, is that where distribution amplifiers like these will actually give a dB boost to the signal, this actually has a signal loss on it. But, um, you know, for your trip, typical uh, semi-D house for relatively short cable runs, we would use these um, in our own installing business and we would find that in probably 90 or 95% of houses, if you're splitting the signal twice, it'll work fine. Okay, so this is a very cheap option uh, that people should consider, uh, but the other ones are certainly advantageous uh, because they give a, a, a certain decibel increase. Now, I would say that if you're going to split um, the signal to more than four rooms, uh, you'd be better off going with a plug, plug in distribution amplifier, such as the Wosley unit we have at the end here. This is an eight way unit. Now, with both the F120s and the lab gears, it's possible to put in a, um, a 12 volt uh, DC unit at the side to power these to have the same effect. But you know, if you're going to go to that expense and hassle, you're better off just to go directly for the larger unit with a three pin plug in it. And you know, it's both a neater and um, a more effective job, I would say. But primarily, I'm going to talk about these units here because these are the most commonly used ones. Because for um, a two or a four way split, these link, link amplifiers virtually in all cases will work well. And of course, the most important part of this entire unit here is the sky eye, which allows you to operate um, the satellite receiver from um, a remote location. So basically, what type of satellite receivers could we use this with? Well, there's two possible choices. There's something like, we'll say, the Skybox here, which comes with a built-in modulator uh, and a nine volt output, which allows you to actually look at this um, to, uh, it gives an output where you can run the signal to a second room and um, you know you can run a single sky eye off it directly um, and these link amplifiers only come in when you want to run it to more than uh, one room uh, or alternatively we have satellite receivers here um, and it has no RF output and if we wanted to run this to a, an additional room you'd actually use it in conjunction with a unit called a tri-link and what it does is it gives an RF output and also a 9 volt signal and it can be used in conjunction with link amplifiers as well so what we're going to do here today is I'm going to focus um, on using these units with the, with the actual uh, sky receiver that we have here. So I'm just going to turn around this box. On the television here we have the output from this particular box. So I'm just going to rotate it around. And we can see here that we have a power lead, um, a satellite input and also an RF um, output here. Okay, uh, a SCAR output which is connecting to the television. If I disconnected that, you'll see the picture disappears. Okay, so what we're going to do here now is I'm just going to reconnect that. Uh, I have a cable here that I've made up. Uh, specifically to use with this sky eye. So what we have is we have a, um, we have a, a coax um, a female on one end and we have an F-type connector on the other end here. So you can see the two ends of the cable. So what I'm going to demonstrate here is I'm just going to connect this to the RF2 out 9 volt uh, DC um, output on the back of the box. So I'll just actually push this cable in. You want to just focus in on this particular operation. And I'll just push it in here like this. Uh, that goes on quite smoothly. And what I do here now is I just simply get this uh, sky eye here. I connect this to the sky eye. So if you look at the sky eye here, there's um, there's an LED light on it, and currently it's not receiving any power. Okay. So what I do here is I simply connect this unit in like this, and now we have a, a situation where. Um, we have an LED, so this is actually in the position to um, connect to an additional television, give a signal from this box, but also it allows the channels to actually be changed uh, from a remote uh, location. 
Uh, so what we'll actually do here is I have this sky box turned away. The sensor to pick up on your sky uh, box is actually in the front of this box. So if I come along here now and try to change channels, it won't work, okay? Because it's not taking any signal in. But if I come along and aim this at the front of the sky uh, box here, you can actually see here that it's worked, okay? I can actually change channels through the sky eye, where again, if I come over here, it won't work, okay? So you can see here the sky eye is working effectively um, directly out the sky box. But if I wanted to run it to more than one location, uh, what I'd need to do is use a link amplifier, or in this case, I'm actually gonna demonstrate simply the cheaper, uh, cheapest option here, which is the two-way um, power passing splitter. And I have one of these pre-wired here. So what we have is, we have two cables coming out, one already connected to a sky eye, and uh, no input currently. So what I'll do here is, I simply come along here, and I press in, this here, and we can see instantly the LED on the first sky eye comes on here, and the LED on the second comes on when it's connected. So both of these, obviously, there wouldn't be side by side like I'm demonstrating here. These would be in totally different rooms in the house. So if, if the distance is in between, we'll say, in terms of cable runs were five or 10 meters, this should work fine, okay? There'll be sufficient power coming out the sky box to work it. But if you want to go into, into longer cable runs or more than this, you need to move on to um, something like the proper link amplifiers here, which will actually give that dB boost. Now, in terms of which is better, um, the, the global F F120s are probably the first on the market, they're the most famous, but they're also the most expensive. I would find that the lab gear ones are considerably less expensive, and in my experience, very ex work exactly the same. So we've had great success with these. We, we sell large quantities of these and we've always got to the point here where the F120s and F140s were virtually dropped off the website because the price differential wouldn't justify people paying the extra money. Um, these also come in a coaxial version which we don't sell on the website because the F connectors are much better in terms of good signal transfer and ensuring that your sky eye works. Because the key thing here is that you want a situation where your sky eye will work initially and stay working. So that's why I would say maybe investing in the extra ones can be worthwhile for people, but certainly these if they're properly installed and short distances can work okay. So hopefully anyway, I've given a fairly good demonstration on the different options you have in terms of link amplifiers and um, the, the, the different solutions that are offered by TVTrade.ie.